Hi lads, welcome back, uh, back to the channel. Um, today we've got a kit review of, well a little chat and a kit review. Should we get it out and have a look? Can you see that? It's a trumpeter, excuse me, trumpeter um, little vampire. So um, without further ado, let's go and have a look at it. So here we are, trumpeter, uh, Devon Vampire, uh, Fighter Bomber Mark V, or FB5 I should say. Uh, standard kind of trumpeter box, uh, there's a, bit, a little bit of um, stuff on the, on, the, on the vamp there, not a lot, usual old gear, there's another marking on this side, um, and then that's, you know, boxes of boxes. So inside this little box, what we have, look, you can see how simple this kit is, just over 50 pieces, 50 parts, so um, not a complicated build at all. Uh, I've actually got a little bit of extra, obviously, uh, so we'll have a look at that again in a minute. So we've got three bags of is it three bags of sprues? Three bags of sprues. One clear. Decals. And uh, instructions. Uh, that's in the box. Um, pop that just over there. So if we... Uh, what should we look at first? Let's have a look at these instructions. Because there's not a lot to this kit. Um, some colour call outs there, I'll look at them in a minute. So, uh, front of the instructions, oh, excuse me, uh, not a lot to see. Little sprue map here, but I don't think you're going to get lost on three sprues. Uh, so, we're going to start straight away um, in with the, the, the nose gear and the bay. There's a bit of, and then into the cockpit, which looks okay, but obviously, personally, I'm not going to be worrying about that one because um, I've got replacement. Bit more gear. Engine looks rather basic to say the least. Um, you put together the, the, the fuel uh, tanks, either one. Uh, twin booms. Obviously the cockpit goes inside in sitting on the bottom uh, of the fuselage with the wheel bays and the engine and the um, nose bay and all that is sandwiched together. There's a little bit more cockpit detail to go in, uh, radio uh, equipment I think that is. Um, so that's hopefully, uh, well I kind of know that join is okay, that looks alright. And then onto here, and then we get the you get an option of the of the fuel tanks, a bit of landing gear, twin booms, Bob's your uncle. Um, there is I've built this kit before. Um, the, the only real issue is this is this bit here, getting these these booms to line up and getting all that square. Um, so, other than that, a really easy, simple little kit. If we have a quick look at the, uh, the call out, uh, we've got uh, natural metal finish or silver dope, whatever it is. Um, there's no information on squadron though. I suppose we could find that out quite easily. And then the other, on the other option you get is uh, a dark green and a dark suit grey over um, silver. So that's very, um, very reminiscent of the of the fifties, which is obviously um, uh, when this aeroplane made its mark. Right, so we have a look at some of these, uh, some of these sprues. I hate doing this, opening bags in front of people, it's really boring. So as you can see, gentlemen, ladies, boys and girls, 
we've got some top fuselage, we have got some lovely uh, riveting. Um, nice lines, nice panel lines, nice and clean, there's no, I can't see any burring, there's no flash, there's a bit of wispiness there but that's not a lot to, um, to worry about. Wheels, um, repeat up tube things and then here your drop tanks, cockpit parts here but obviously I'm not going to worry about them. Uh, landing gear leg looks really pretty basic um, but it uh, looks quite nice that is nice isn't it it's such a beautiful shape isn't it that is such a lovely shape and then we've got the underneath at the side of the fuselage which here Da, 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 da. And doing the bag caught up. Oh, come on. This is why I don't normally open bags. Uh, so, on the side of the fuselage, again, exactly the same as the top side. Um, nice engraving. Maybe a little, uh, is it a little softer, a little softer just on the fuselage, other to the wings. You can kind of feel it on the wings, you can't feel it on the, but you know, I think we could, just got to be careful of that, I think. Uh, main wheels, uh, uh, other side of the drop tank, and some fuselage bits, and another, and another um, leg. That is kind of nice. Oh, that is kind of nice. Um, we need to just to be aware. A bit of flash there. Look, we just need to be aware. The front section of the of the vampire is obviously all wood. So where do these lines? <laughs> where they have all these pan lines in? Um, I, I would think it might be unlikely. So we might have to fill some of this. Uh, and we'll have to see how we go and do a bit of investigation on that. But very nice too. And then the final um, plastic sprue, we've got the booms. Instrument panel. You could make something like that if I was using it, but obviously I'm not. Um, intakes, these need, uh, obviously these will need hollowing out inside there. Uh, which is a bit of a pain. Wheel wells, pretty basic. Uh, I mean, the cockpit detail, if he's going to use it, is, you know, is usable. There's nothing wrong with that. And the booms are, um, as you were, yeah, detailed, uh, nicely done. Plastic is nice. Uh, that's the, um, the, 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 the twin boom. Uh, horizontal stabiliser thing again nice lines on that so that's okay as well such a pretty aeroplane right I've lost there they are excuse me chaps right Let's have a look at these plastic bars here, shall we? Can we slide that out of there? There you go. Oh no, I thought it was warped, but it is the way it's on the on the sprue. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. That's clear, that's clear. Yeah, that's very clear. Now it's just two bits, three bits of uh, of glazing to worry about so that's not an issue uh, decal sheet 
Um, um, yeah, okay, they're a little bit shiny, I suppose, but the colour seems to be okay. Doesn't seem to be off centre. You get a decal for the uh, decal for the uh, instrument panel. Um, no, I don't, there's nothing. Uh, not a lot of, <laughs> as you can see, there's not many. Um, uh, oh, what they got? Oh, my brain's gone. Decals to go with this, so um, uh, we'd, we'd be doing alright on that. Although I'm. I might be changing this, so... So as an extra, I'm going to be using the Pavla... Um, um, ...cockpit set. It's actually for the Mark 9. Now, I know this is a Mark... I'll cut myself up. I know this is a Mark 5... Um, um, FP5 aircraft I'm doing, but I'm kind of hoping no one's going to notice I'm actually using the wrong cockpit. We could have a quick look at this quickly, couldn't we? As you can see, I've, I've had a look at this already. If you haven't seen a risen cockpit before, this is what it looks like. So it looks something something like that, and we get a little uh, obviously a little instruction booklet with it leaflet on how it all goes together with some very basic um, photocopied instructions. So hopefully we can make something of this. Um, unfortunately, with it being a obviously a, 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 an early British cockpit, it's going to be black. <laughs> So you really you're not going to see uh, that much anyway, um, but you know we'll, we'll make a go at it. We'll make a go at it. You need to do a bit of. It looks like we need to do a bit of surgery to get this back part on here. Um, basically, it's, it, it's just a painting exercise. It seems it just seems it's a painting exercise. Hopefully, it will fit without too much um, too much palaver. Am oh, I missing the pit there? This is the bar, it's that one there, isn't it? Of course it is. So there you go, ch chat. Um, that is uh, Trumpeter's um, uh, Mark V um, FP5 uh, Vampire. Thank you very much, and we'll see you soon. Hi guys, you're back. Uh, there you go. Uh, a, a simple, uh, simple kit for me at this present moment in time. I've kind of um, lost a little bit of the m m that direction, but a bit of bit of mojo, you know, over Christmas time and and the New Year. It, you tend to, um, you know, you can lose it a little bit, can't you? And plus the fact that I haven't got a dedicated area, and I keep banging on about it, moaning about it, but. Um, so I thought, you know, something pretty, pretty basic, pretty simple. Obviously, one of my favourite aeroplanes as well. Um, uh, so you know, we should, um, we, it should be okay. The obviously the resin cockpit might be a challenge if it doesn't fit. Um, if it doesn't fit, then we'll sit the, we'll use the, we'll use the, um, the, the kit part. Uh, this actually is going to be. Oh, sorry, I banged the thing. This actually is going to be uh, my offering to our um, group build that we're running on British Aviation in Scale, which is a Facebook group. Come over and say hello. Come over and click to join and we'll get you in. Um, uh, this one, it's running from the 15th of January, Monday, to the 17th of March, which is the Saturday, which is 
uh, my missus' birthday, so she's over the moon that she's sharing that with us. It was going to be the um, to the fifteenth. That would make it obviously, you know, a stupid Thursday, which is a horrible day to finish a um, edit midweek. I should have actually started this on the Sunday, but anyway. Yeah, so Twin Brit, it's called. I don't know what that is. Twin Brit, um, come join in. So it's any British aircraft or any aircraft used um, in Britain, obviously with British um, air forces. Um, they could, you know, it could be foreign if you like, but it's got to be, you know, I've used or one of our own. Uh, but it's got to have two of something. So obviously, I'm going. Vampire with twin booms, uh, twin engines, twin seats, uh, biplanes that are push. Um, uh, that type of thing is what we're after. Um, so there's two months, a little little knock together, two months. Uh, finishes in, like I said, finishes in uh, middle of March. Uh, come over and join us. Um, if you know, if you're not uh, on Facebook, which you know some of you ain't. <laughs> Post up on YouTube uh, and then get some photos to me and maybe I can put them up for you um, so we can do it that way. You don't, you know, if you're not on, oh, I don't like Facebook because some people don't obviously. Uh, must find you can still do it but obviously you needed to send me, PM me uh, the photos. Or have a chat, come and, come and chat to me on, on YouTube and we can sort something out. Um, I think we're about done. Um, there's nothing much more to say. The don't forget, obviously, we've got the big one coming up in the first of April, which is uh, uh, I can't remember what it's called now. RF 100 in scale. So that's the big one. That's our big one of the year. Um, it's going to run for about three months. I haven't got an actual finish date for it yet because I don't know what game I'm going to be doing. I'm going to sign off now, I'll let you get on. Okay lads, I will see you soon, whether it be on here, on Facebook, or wherever, or even in the flesh, you never know. Okay lads, I'll see you soon. Good, happy modelling.